sweet and relaxed. I've been seeing you so dressed up lately. It's good to see you relaxing. Yeah, well, my feet hurt. Well, you don't have to um, wear shoes like that, I you know. No, I thought so, but then, then, then you do. Then you do. You end up going, they look good, and you, you wear you them. You do it. It makes the leg look yeah. good. I don't know. You look good with, with or without that shoe. You Thank looked you. beautiful at the Golden Globes Thank the other you. night. Beautiful. Thank you. And, oh, thanks. thanks. Now, <clears throat> yes. I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Because the energy is, you, no matter how much you go into it thinking, I'm going to relax and enjoy it, it's so frenetic. Do you get caught up in that energy? It's, it's a little nerve wracking. I mean, it's, you have to have fun mm -hmm. otherwise and not take yourself too seriously. Right. Um, but I, I was given a trick that has helped me tremendously uh, walking down with the photographers, because we're actors, we're not models. But, you know, all these people have spent all this time making dresses, and you're supposed to show them off, and you're told how to stand. And so <clears throat> I think it was Robert De Niro who told this to someone who told this to someone, which is, can I stand up? Yeah, do it. When you're in front of the <clears throat> cameras, sorry, I was out late last night. Um, <laughs> if you hum a song, somehow it just makes you happy, and you always smile. So I do this. <laughs> the whole time. And now my husband's doing it, which is hilarious because he's toned up. But um, <laughs> humming a song suddenly makes everything OK. And you just are like, this is so silly, but I'm smiling and it's fine. And it'll be over soon. And then it's over. Wow. Yeah, it's a good trick. It is a good trick, but only if you're taking pictures. If you're like somewhere where you have to talk, you can't hum <laughs> and talk at the same time, or else that's a pretty amazing talent. I know. But that's you... true. And um, although it would be a great talent to have if yeah. just one side of your mouth was humming. You could just hum <laughs> inside. You'd have, like yeah. a ventriloquist. Yeah. Um, but you seem relaxed. <clears throat> I saw you. I sat next to you for a minute at the People's Choice Awards. And thank God you were there. Um, because I didn't have any of my cast with me. Josh was on his honeymoon. The, the kings are creators who should have accepted the drama award. We're in Italy. Glad everyone's vacationing while I'm yeah. still working. <laughs> while you're working. Um, <clears throat> no, I was happy to represent. But they threw me out there, and I was by myself. And there you were, and I got to sit next to you. And 14, I mean, what do you do with 14? What, do you have a new house just for your awards? Yes, that's, I bought a house for my awards. <laughs> I don't live there, just the awards. Just the awards. And I, I go you and visit them. You have someone polish them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, it's very flattering. It's that, that yeah. It's amazing that I have been that fortunate that people like me. I, I love it. Um, so let's talk about your house, because okay. your house is gorgeous. You're on the cover of Architectural <clears throat> Digest this month. And uh, actually, the February I issue. So it just came out, probably, it right? Just, yes, well, yes, there's a story behind that, but yes. It came out. It came out the day we um, got back. We went skiing for Christmas uh -huh. this year. We thought it was time to put the kid on skis, and um, they said your Architectural Digest came out because we remodeled, and I was excited. And you used about Vincent Wolf, who's amazing. Who's amazing? Yeah, he's a great designer. He's such a great designer. Of course, you are the queen of homes. <laughs> but anyway, um, the day it came out on the stands, we walked in from our very long trying to get back to New York City in the middle of a storm, 30 hours, which was fine. And the whole time, I kept saying to my son, "We have our health." It's OK. Everything's fine. We have our health. And we all actually enjoyed it. We went and stayed at the Marriott in Denver. I mean, the airport Marriott, the beds were very comfortable. We were fine. <laughs> and then they lost our luggage, and that's fine. You know, <laughs> it happens. And then we walked in to our brand new apartment. With this was in the mail. And everything was flooded. <laughs> the whole place had completely flooded from the guy upstairs. The pipes burst, or the, what happened up, his upstairs? His radiator exploded. Oh, man. So this, at least I have pictures. You have pictures of what it, what it used to look like, and they really are. <laughs> the, house, the house looks, it, it looked amazing. You, you it did used an to amazing look great. job. You um, did an amazing now, job. Now, and so what happens? How long are you out while they fix it? Well, we had to go to another hotel that night, because um, have you ever had I mean, when you have water damage, and honestly, and this is a, I call it, it's like an Upper East Side problem, because there's so many people, we've been helping people recover from Storm Sandy, so I know so many people don't have homes. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I, I really, truly, I tried to have perspective. Yeah. Um, I did open the door and burst into tears, at which point my son said, Mama, we have a health. <laughs> but, How old is he? But, 
<laughs> he was, How old is he? He'll be six on Friday. Oh, that's adorable. We have a house. I'm like, this isn't healthy. <laughs>